Chasing Florida strains on a bluebird day. Post frontal equals skunk. It's time to move to a different link. If you know how I feel, give me a thumbs up. Okay, let's start this jerkbait video. Uh, I'm going to be kind of teaching you guys how I throw jerkbaits. Uh, some of the decisions I make on the water and when to throw a small jerkbait, a bigger jerkbait, some cadence stuff, and equipment. I think it's very important to have the right equipment uh, or some similar to some of the stuff that I'm using. <sighs> Well, we had an Instagram follower mention to us that we'd hardly ever go over our gear in our fishing videos. So here we go. The lure. You just saw it. It's a small one. Uh, it's only maybe three and a half inches long. It is a Lucky Craft pointer in a bone color with a yellow stripe down the side. It's basically a sexy shad pattern. Uh, I don't know the exact name of the Lucky Craft pattern but most companies call it sexy shed. The line is 10 pound 100% uh, fluorocarbon from Sunline. It's the Sunline FC Sniper 10 pound. Been using it for many many years now. I really like their 10 pound on jerk baits. Um, the rod, the rod is a Falcon Buku 6 foot 6 medium heavy with micro guides and yes it's a real short rod I really like it because you can twitch it a lot as you see here without reeling too much so you want to give your lures a lot of action and you want to attract the fish in the area to it without pulling the lure away too fast so this rod does the job for me and as for the reel the reel is the most expensive part of jerkbait fishing uh, you don't have to go this high end. You can do this with regular reel, but for me, I've been doing it for a while now. So I find the expensive reels that cast real, real light lures real well uh, do very well in the winter time. Uh, this, like I said, this is a Steez SV TW. Usually retails for five hundred, um, but I buy these for four hundred. I buy them brand new, but I usually buy them through auctions. If you want to know more about auctions, let me know in the comments, and I'll do a video about that. But I buy everything pretty much never at full price. Alright guys, we got one! Jerk bait fish. Alright. We got one. I guess we didn't skunk out today, huh? Got one. Make it back. No, this is Lucky Craft. Loki Craft today. Yep, Lucky Craft. Lucky crab came through today. Pointer 78. Pointer 70. <sighs> yep. Go. Yeah. Okay, so the water is really dingy. So to me, dingy means you gotta throw a little bit bigger profile. So I put the 78 away. I wanted something in the white also. 
Uh, typically, Bluebird days, if it's clear water, I throw a translucent color. But since there's a little stain in the water, white is a must. Or, or if you're going to throw a translucent, you better have some, like, chartreuse belly on it. But anyhow, uh, tied on the Spurl Mix stick. Cellmate is a color. Once again, bone color kills it. That's a fish. That's a fish. Fish it is. Oh, what's a bass? All right. It's a bass. All right, buddy. Here we go. Drink bait fish. Drink bait fish. Mm, all white. Dirt bait fish. Spro. Little fish. Catfish. What is up with that? I think we're gonna catch a catfish on a drink bait today. There you go. Okay, so let me explain drink bait cadence in this video. Um, I hear a lot of drag drag pause and duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. But for me, it's not that. I do a drag drag check, drag drag check, or drag drag drag, or just keep jerking. <laughs> but basically, you wanna you wanna understand: um, Are you drinking it fast, medium, slow? I mean. That, that's what I kind of categorize it. Fast, medium, slow. It doesn't matter if you're snapping the rod down to the left, to the right, or in this case, I'm sla snapping it up a couple times because I'm fishing uh, submergent grass and it gets stuck sometimes. So you have to snap it. Or when the drink bait goes too low and starts touching the grass, you need to snap it up to keep it away from the grass or clean the uh, troubles for that matter. There's one. There's one. There's a large mouth. Here we go. Woo! Come on, buddy. Yeah. Here we go. 
Mm -mm, look at that. Cute ones. Nothing giant, but what a time fishing. Better than not catching anything. Thank you. Appreciate you. And yes, I do sit down throwing a jerk bait. I just prefer to stand up because you can work the jerk bait in all directions. When you're sitting down, it seems like for some reason you can't snap as hard. And I think you lose a little bit of action on the jerk bait. So whenever I can I like to stand up. But if you if you can't stand up on your kayak, get sitting down is just fine. Okay, so when you throw a jerk bait near the bank, you always want to throw parallel. Never, this uh, there's a point on my right, so I'm casting into open water. I'm bringing it towards the point. It sounds very stupid, but I swear this is the way you fish jerk baits. Uh, for some reason, I think the fish are chasing bait. They're pushing it up on the bank, so to throw it out and bring it back in, I think it. In a way, it impersonates the bait the most realistic because it's doing exactly what the fishes think it it's doing. So basically, they chase it from deep to shallow. They get bit. Whoa, whoa! Check that out. So, while you when you're fishing, you're always aware of all of your tools, all of your surroundings. So, you know, I just came over that point. I didn't get bit because I was casting into that 7 8 foot zone. But out to my left, in about 12, I see what looks like some crappie or some schooling fish out deep. So now I put a waypoint on it, and then I go to maps, and I see that my waypoint's directly behind me. So I fire a cast out there, and this time we don't jerk. The rod up at all. We drag it down. We want to get that jerk bait as deep as it can go. So I'm thinking the jerk bait's in about eight, nine foot of water right now. And yeah, it's a lot of imagina imagination, but you know, that's that's 90% of fishing, anyways. Um, and check this out it pulls through. bass but pretty small though pretty sure that's the ones I saw on side imaging so but it is pretty cool there we go Okay, here's the last fish of the day. Uh, sun's gone down, and I'm just fishing whatever light's left. So when when you're in this situation, to me, the fish can't really see the lures anymore. There's no light. So you have to give them something to come chase. So I snap the rods really aggressively, and I give them the noise or the vibration of the lures for them to pinpoint on. Here we go. There it is. Got one. A little one. Just a baby. Teach him while they're young, you know. <sighs> Whew. I think that's it for the day, guys. Done for the day. Drink bait day again. All right, guys, it is time to go back. Uh, done all the damage we can in the last two hours of the day. Uh, we caught a lot of fish. 
nothing crazy, but just a lot of little fish. Um, a lot of fun size, you know. It is winter time. I don't know where the big ones are at. I checked some good spots. Just couldn't find them. A lot of bait out deep, but like I said, just couldn't find them. Just couldn't get them to bite, I guess. And um, we'll try again next time. We didn't skunk out, but we didn't do. Uh, we didn't. We did not showcase what the lake put out. And uh, that's all I got. So sub to the channel. Uh, like it. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, maybe even check out the merch. All right, guys. See ya. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop freeloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.